This episode brought to you by Subsoap. This month only, purchase the Infinity Bundle. Pay once, get new games forever. Visit infinitybundle.com. The story of the Teflon Muller. The Australian Federal Police are refusing to investigate, let alone seek the extradition, of a Kurdish terrorist who has claimed responsibility for a 2003 suicide attack in which an Australian, Paul Moran, was killed. The freelance cameraman for the Australian Broadcasting Corporation was on assignment in Iraq when he died along with six Kurds who were manning a checkpoint. This is where Najmuddin Faraj Ahmad, also known as Mullah Krekar, comes into the story. The founder and leader of an Iraqi terrorist group called Ansar al-Islam openly brags that he recruited and trained the terrorist cell that carried out the attack. He went so far as to publicly dare the Australian authorities to come and get him. And now, after nearly a decade, no one has done anything to bring him to justice. Krekar is currently serving a five-year sentence in Norway for threatening the lives of three Kurdish immigrants and an opposition party leader. Declared a threat to national security, Krekar's deportation from Norway has been ordered, but there is nowhere for the government to send him. While he is wanted by the United States and Iraq for numerous murders and human rights abuses, Norway will not accept their requests because it refuses to extradite anyone to a country that can impose a death sentence. According to reports from Time magazine and ABC News, Krekar will be a witness for the defence at the trial of Anders Breivik, Norway's mass murderer and right-wing extremist. Finding Krekar a source of continuing embarrassment, Norwegian officials are desperate to get rid of the man. U.S. State Department cables, released by WikiLeaks, recount proceedings where its diplomats and Norwegian officials discuss Krekar and his possible extradition to Australia in order to face a war crimes investigation. In the cables, the Americans reveal that their contact at the Norwegian Ministry of Foreign Affairs had stated that he saw no obstacles to approving such a request. In the hypothetical case that the Government of Australia would eventually request Krekar's extradition. The only country Norway is willing to consider sending Krekar to is Australia. However, Canberra and the Australian Federal Police have shown no interest in seeking the extradition of Mullah Krekar and trying him. The Australian police claims that there is insufficient information available to justify an investigation of the terrorist suspect and has been decided not to investigate him. How the AFP has come to this conclusion has not been revealed. Graham Blewett, Australia's most experienced war crime prosecutor and Deputy Chief Prosecutor for United Nations International Criminal Tribunal from 1994 to 2004, has called the decision both a lot of crook and a fob-off. He has also been quoted as saying that his country's argument that it is difficult to pursue witnesses and evidence overseas is a load of crap. Blewett maintains that the Australian government lacks the political will to pursue the changes, declaring that because there are no votes in war claims, they walk away from it. They don't want to do it because it's too expensive. Meanwhile, Mullah Krebar continues to play the media in Norway and has launched an appeal against his sentence. Oh. 